Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Eloise Tillemont. I'm a product owner, and I work at Odoo for nine months. Um, so I joined the product owner to, sorry, like this? Can you hear me better like this? Thank you. Um, so um, I joined the product owner team because I'm uh, really interested be um, about the user experience. And so I, uh, we did a, a lot of work this year on the mobile application. And um, so I will start with a quick introduction. Then I will show you uh, all the improvements that we did on the Android application this year to make it more mobile friendly. And then uh, we will talk about iOS uh, application. And I will continue uh, with the vision for the future that we have for mobile. And then I will end up with a conclusion. Um, so the idea is. Well, yeah, sorry. The idea is, OK, why do I need this application? Because I can also go on my web browser and just look my, at my Odoo like this. But um, the application can give you a, a bit more. Um, you can get the same functionalities than on your desktop. So basically, even if you have customization, it will be available on the application. Uh, you will get push notification on your mobile, and this is a nice way to always stay aware of what's going on on your system. And uh, it's uh, available on Android and iOS now, so that's a, a good point. Um, what we did for the Android application is that uh, we worked a lot on the user experience um, to make it more mobile friendly. And what we improved it this year is the Discuss application. We also worked on the burger menu. And um, we added a new feature that allows you to add your other shortcuts uh, to your phone home screen. Uh, we worked a bit on the Kanban. And uh, we did some minor user experience uh, improvements that I will list later. So first, for the Discuss application, uh, we have tried to improve the way we communicate uh, with uh, the colleague on, the, on this application. And you can now have a better user experience on it. And uh, this is because you have easier to reach call to action. They are now in your term zone. So you can easily switch between your chat channels, your live chat, um, because before it was not really intuitive. Uh, and it's easier also to see your inbox and your stared messages. And we worked a bit on the user interface to make it a bit more modern. So I hope you will like it. Um, we did an improvement on the, of the burger menu. I don't know for the people who already use the application. Uh, when you were on the app switcher and clicking on the burger menu, then nothing happens. So we did uh, find a way to, to have a better process for this. So basically, when you are on your app switcher and you click on the burger menu, you will have your user menu. Uh, you know, the one that's a bit, um, behind the, your little uh, picture. And um, so your multi companies will be there also. And then once you get in a, an application like sales, you will have the, the menu of your application, but you will also have access to your user menu. And um, OK. So uh, the Kanban views were uh, exactly the same than on desktop, but uh, we worked on it uh, to make it a bit more easy to use on mobile. So now you, each column will be displayed um, in only one screen, and you can swipe between columns. It will load only one column at a time. So if you have plenty of, um, of tasks in your pipeline, maybe it's easier for you to get what you need because the it will be easier for you to, to load uh, the content of each column. Um, the Add to Home Screen functionality, you will uh, find uh, this on your user menu. And basically, if you really need uh, to see all your quotation and you do it a lot, then you can just add a shortcut on your, the home screen of your, of your phone. And uh, so then, basically, it will open the 
the content that you that you want. And we also did some minor user experience improvement, uh, like the tabs are now swipeable. It was not before, and it was not really easy to use on mobile. Uh, you can also now clear your many to one fields. Um, and it will come for one too many, but a bit later. And we improved the list views, and we have a lot of things on our pipe, so things should um, be improved like piece, piece by piece. Um, so, I don't know if there is uh, some user of iPhone here, but now we have an application for you guys. Um, and it's available on the App Store. It's, it works on iPhone, iPad, and it's for enterprise only. And it's from V9 to V11. And our vision for the future is that uh, user experience is changing really fast because there is a lot of research on it, and people are finding the way to improve um, the application or website every day. So you need to keep up with this and uh, try to try to improve your application every day and ask you questions every day about your users. So um, the idea is just that user experience is moving fast, so we should be as fast as possible. And um, so we, we would like to, uh, to have an application that is really mobile friendly and we would like to sync the, um, to this application like it's a mobile application and not only display what you have on desktop. So um, we would like to, to have some more native uh, behavior uh, like the swipe and some kind of move that we are used to on mobile. And in conclusion, I, I should suggest you only to download it and try it by yourself. And if you have any question, you can come here. I have a phone if you, have, if you want to check um, the application with me or ask questions. Thank you. Yeah. where each tablet is in front of each worker. The only limitations that I found in the application that a function like an action when you press on multiple entries and you go on action mm -hmm. it does not exist on the application. But this was changed because this is the limitation, for example. So yeah. I couldn't work with manufacturing order because some people in my factory, they choose multiple things and they start to order of multiple uh, manufacturing orders. So what is this a feature like this enhancement where the Udo application does almost exactly everything that the Udo website yeah. does. When is it coming? That's a good feedback, actually. So thank you. Uh, and we are working on it. So basically, I can't tell you really like it's coming tomorrow or stuff like this. But I can. Um, you can come later to my desk, and we will t discuss about it. Yeah. So I can. I can write it down and then discuss with my team and see what we can do. Thank you. Yeah? No, it's only for enterprise. Same with uh, the iOS. Yeah? Uh, if you have some partner modules, uh, you will. You, you can see it, but of course we are not. Uh, uh, you should see if it's like responsive, but if it's for it's from partners, so I, I don't know if they they did uh, some responsive uh, stuff. I, I don't know, but you will get it. But okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically, you just need to to get uh, some uh, responsive, but that's uh, more like a technical question. I can invite you to go to the demo booth. Uh, there is, it's uh, the name is like tablet tablet uh, 
I don't know the name of the workshop, but there is technical guys there and they can help you with that. 